Hello friends, this video on probability part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The record of a weather station shows that out of 200 consecutive past 200 consecutive days, 250 consecutive days, the weather forecast were correct for 175 times. So, out of 250, 175 is correct and the remaining is how much? 250 minus 175, that is 75. Are wrong forecast right so in this case if you see my sample space is wrong and right what is the probability that on a given day it was correct so probability of correct is what right so number of events when it was correct by total limit how and that is nothing but 175 was correct out of 250. So all this you get 0.7. What is the probability it was not correct? So probability of incorrect is nothing but number of events when it was incorrect by two event count. That is nothing but 75 by 250 and that is 0.3. So if you see my total sample space is correct, incorrect and that's why if you add these two, if you add these two probability of correct plus probability of incorrect, what you get is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 and that is nothing but 1. That means on any day either it was correct or it was incorrect, right? On any day either the forecast by the weather station was correct or that is 1. There is a tire manufacturing company and that kept the record the distance covered before a tire was replaced. And this table shows the data for 1000 vehicles. Right? And if you buy a tire of this company, what is the probability that it has to be replaced before it covered 4000 km? That is this scenario. More than 9000 km, that is this and this scenario. And Somewhere between 4000 and 14000, that is these two scenarios. So we know that probability of any event is nothing but number of times the event occurred by total event power. Correct. So because we have defined the probability of replacing a car, car before it cover. 4000 km that is 0 to 14 km. There is nothing but total number of times when this event occurred that is 20 by total event count that is 1000. In this case, log will be 1000, so right here only. Right? And the value is 0 0.3. Similarly, it lasts for more than 9000 that is 9000 km to, to end. There is no limit. So this is nothing but 325 plus 445. These two are the event where my, I mean, this two are the event where the tar, the car, the tire was replaced after 9000 km and divide by the total event count that is 1000. That is nothing but 775 by 1000 and that is nothing but 0.7. Then third one, the probability that it will be replaced somewhere between 4000 to 14000. So 4 to 14 we have this range. So total number of events in this range is 210 plus 325 by total event count. So you solve this, this becomes 535 by 1000 and that is nothing but 0.5. And note here, if you add these, you will not get 1000, I mean 1. Just add these, you will get some different value. You'll not, you may get more than 1 because in this case, this event is counted twice. Correct. But if you calculate for uh, 0 to 0.4, probability for 4 to uh, 9, probability for 9 to 14 and probability for 14 plus, and if you add them, then you will get 1. 
because then you are counting all the possible scenario only once right here we this was a sample space we have got then we club various sample space to get different sample space we have uh, not counted this sample space we have called, counted some sample space for twice so you will not get one and this is one example where you are not getting the whole uh, probability that is asking the question summation as one so it is not always confirmed that you add all the probabilities you will get one why because in some case some sample space is ignored example in this case uh, in this case whatever we have uh, find out in this question we have taken this twice and that's why if you add this you will get data that is more than one but if you find a uh, probability for 0 to 4 k probability for 0 to 4 to 9 k is probability for 9 to 14 k and probability for more than 14 k if you add this then you will get one in this case also so let's take one more scenario the percentage of marks obtained by a student in the monthly tests are given below based on this data we have to find the probability that the student got more than 70 percent marks in the test so if you see they are talking about two sample space more than 70 percent 70 percent and less than 70 percent Let, let's divide this into three sample space always where it is more than right so let's divide into three three space so more than 70 percent how many times one, two, three times. Seventy percent. How many times? Zero times. Less than seventy percent. How many times? Two times. All right. So we have divided this whole sample space into this part. Now the question is: Find the probability that the student got more than seventy percent. So probability of seventy percent plus is nothing but number of times student got. 70% plus by total number of times. And that is number of times the student got 70 plus is 3, total number of times we know is 5. 3 plus 2 5. And that is 0. 0.6. Similarly, if you want to find total number of times student got 70 number marks, that will be 0 to by 5. Total number of times student got less than 70% marks that will be what 2 by 5 and why I took 70% also I will show you in some example where and if they say more then they don't want to include the exact data I will, will have that and also note that if you add all these values here in this case 0.6 and 0.4 you get 1 because we have covered all the set right so the whole sample space we have actually covered it so we have added all the probability of the sample space so we got 1 Let's take this example. An insurance company, a little different, please pay attention. Insurance company selected some 2000 drivers at random from a given city and found the relationship between the age and the accident. It is seen that 18 to 19 years of drivers, they have zero experiment in this last one year. One ex, uh, 160 of these uh, drivers met one accident. 110 drivers made 2 accidents, 61 drivers made 3 accidents, and 35 drivers made more than 3 accidents. Similarly, for 30 to 50 years, this is the data, and for 50 years above, this is the data. We have to find the possibility of, a, I mean, we have, to find, we have to pick a driver at random and we have to find what is the possibility that this driver belongs to this category. So, we have to pick one driver. Right? So, the possibility of the driver being in this range, 18 to 29 range, with exactly three experiments, three accidents. That is, we are talking about this data. So, there are 61 drivers out of 2000 drivers who are actually in the 18 to 29 range and they have met three accidents in the year. So, the probability of, the, and I'll call this as event one. So, probability of event one is what? Right? Number of times event 1 occurred by total event. So, number of times event 1 occurred is 61 because out of this 2000 drivers, only 61 are of this category. By total event, that is 2000. Correct? So, this is my answer. The first probability will be 61 by 
2000 if you want, you can solve this as 0 0.03 uh, 1 only. I think it will be 5. 0 5, okay. Almost 0 0.3. Let's take the second one. I'll make it, I'll consider it as E2. So, probability of E2 is what? Number of times event E2 occurred by total events. So, what is the event I'm looking for? 30 to 50 years age having more than one experiment in a year. So, more than one, I'll not include one. Please note, more than, sorry, one or more than one. So, I'll include this. I'll include this, 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 this is the set I'm looking for. So, any person belonging to this set is my case. So, it will be nothing but 125 plus 60 plus 22 plus 18 divide by total number of drivers that is 2000. So, all this 225 by 2000 almost 0.11. That means the probability that the driver which I have picked belongs to the category 2 is 0.113 because they are 125 plus 60 plus 22 plus 18 that is the 225 drivers they belong to the category of 30 to 50 years and they have met one or more ex year, one or more accident in that last year let's talk about probability of e3 so probability of e3 is any driver I don't care about the age. I don't care about the age. I care only about no accident in one year. So no accident in one year is this data, right? These are the people who have not met any accident in this year. So that will be, you add all these values. It is 440 plus 505 plus 360 divided by total number of drivers, 2000. And that is nothing but 1305 divided by 2000. There is 0.65 Got it. So, in this case, we have to first find the number of drivers belonging to the category we are looking for, divide by total number of drivers. Right. So, probability of any driver is nothing but number of driver in a given category we are looking for by total driver okay so consider this frequency distribution which gives the weight of 38 students of a class there are 38 students the weight is given we have to find the probability that the weight of the student lies in the 45 to 60 range there are three students pretty easy so the probability of 45 to 6, uh, 46 to 50 is what? The number of students in this range that is 3 by total number of students that is 38. So all this you get 0 0.079. Pretty easy. Give two events in this context, one having probability of 0. So if you see 0 to 34, what is the age? Or what is the number of students? 0. Similarly, 76 to 100, how many? Zero students, right? Because there are no students. So we can say that probability of students from 0 to 34 is what? Zero. Or the probability of students from 76 to 100 is also what? Zero. There can be so many cases. And one having the probability 1. So we see all the students we have are of the range 31 to 75. So if I merge all this range into 1, all the students will fall in. So the probability of age of a student from range of 31 to 75 will always be 1. Any student you pick from this class, they'll have the age of range 31 to 75. They'll fall in this range. Well, so what we are doing here is one question was pretty simple to find the probability for this range. The other tricky question was we have to find the range where the probability is 0 and we have to find the range where the the probability is 1. We saw that all the students lie in the range of weight 31 to 75. So this is 1. None of the students lie in the range of 30, 0 to 34 or 76 to 100. So this is 3. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also 
get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.